Hi everyone. I'm going to walk you through the new Rococo Motion Library plugin for Maya. The Motion Library is the world's largest motion capture marketplace, and you can now access it natively in Maya. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to activate the plugin and open up Motion Library, how to download one of the many free demo assets in the marketplace, and then how to retarget the motion capture that you've downloaded onto a character in Maya. So let's jump into it. Okay, so the first thing that we'll need to do is open up Motion Library. In Maya 2020.1, Motion Library will be available under Animation Editors here. I'm not in .1 yet, so it's not available, but this is where you'll be able to find it. When you open up Motion Library, the first thing that you'll see is this sign-in page. You'll need to sign in with a Rococo ID. It's super easy to sign up. Just click this button here and follow the instructions. Boom, and we are in. So this is Motion Library, and uh, what you're seeing here are all the available animations that we have in the marketplace. This window is floating, so you can resize it uh, however you please, and uh, you know the UI will kind of adjust. I like to keep it kind of like this. This size I find is pretty good. If you hover over the motion capture here, you'll get a preview of the animation, and you can just drag and click around uh, so you can see all the different sides of the animation. You can also see some general information like uh, the name of the asset, the publisher that released it, as well as its price down here in the lower right hand corner. I think I'll actually resize this a bit. So up here at the top we have a couple of different filters that you can use to organize the assets. Uh, you can organize them alphabetically. Ooh, this looks like a good one. That's great, very expressive. You can also organize them by the most recently added assets. Uh, so this can be useful if you're just looking for new things that have popped up. You can also organize them by price, and this is the easiest way to find demo assets uh, like the one we're going to download in a few minutes. And all of these are currently free. Uh, the publishers will put out different demo assets uh, from time to time, so always check back for new ones. You can download them and put them in your scenes. If we click this blue filters button here, you'll get a couple more options. And um, as we uh, continue to grow and evolve the motion library, uh, more categories will be available to help you organize your search. If we look at the buttons here at the top, uh, if you click on this, uh, button all the way on the top left, it will basically just take you back to the uh, main landing page of Motion Library. If you click Categories, you'll see all the different categories that you can search by. Let's click Fashion and see what's going on in here. Catwalk. You can also search by publishers. And here we just have all the different publishers that have put content on the Motion Library. In the middle top here, we just have a search bar. So you can use this just to search through using specific keywords that might be pertinent to what you're looking for. If we search for walk, we'll get all the different walking animations that are on the Motion Library. The great thing about the Motion Library is we have a ton of variety. So you can really find any type of asset that you're looking for. This green button here will let you update the plugin to the newest version. Then we have your shopping cart here, which currently has nothing in it. This button right here that's the little figure, if we click it, this is the preview characters. And we intend to add more preview characters as the Motion Library grows. But if we click Bruno here, and you can see that it highlighted it, and then we go back to Motion Library, now all of the animations are being previewed with a character mesh. And this can be useful to try and judge um, you know, if a certain motion capture animation is the thing that you're looking for with your character. 
We'll switch back to Newton for now. Then we have your library, and these are a few animations I've already um, purchased. These are actually demo animations, so they were all free. And then finally, if you click this button here, we have a couple of different settings that are available here, um, as well as links to documentation in case you ever get stuck or need some help. Okay, now that we've gotten the lay of the land, let's actually go ahead and download an asset. So one way, we're gonna download a free asset, and one way to find them would be just to organize the assets by price. If we do that, we can see that all the uh, $0 assets come to the top, and we can see all the different demo assets that are available. We actually worked with Super Alloy Interactive to create a free pack of 50 assets for the launch of Motion Library. And so if you navigate to their page, you can find all these assets that are free and available right now to download and for you to use in anything. So let's say we wanted to download uh, one of these assets and use it in our scene. This attack saber jump looks good. Let's download this. So if we double click on this asset, we'll jump into an expanded view. And you, here you have some more information on the asset. You can see the publisher here. We have the price. You can also get a few more details like the frames per second, the duration, gender. You can also pause the animation and scrub through it. So this can be really helpful when trying to evaluate different mocap animations. You can turn off looping if you want. You can also change the playback speed of the animation. So you can watch it in fast forward or you can slow it down and watch it in slow-mo. And this can be good when you're trying to maybe judge how cool a jump will look. That looks awesome. Boom. So if we wanted to purchase this asset, uh, we would just go to add to cart. And let's actually add a few more to the cart here. Let's grab this horizontal attack reverse. and we'll grab this horizontal attack forward. So by clicking this little button, we've, we're adding these items to our cart. And up here you can see that three items have been added. If we click on cart, you can see them listed out here. Now all these assets are currently free. If we go back to the Motion Library main page and we find something that uh, we would actually have to purchase, it's organized by name, This guy dancing, for example, if we add this to our cart, we're going to be prompted to top up your balance. So if you click this button, it will simply take you to a page where you can add some funds to your wallet, and then you can purchase these assets uh, and import them into your scene. Let's remove this for now. And because they're all just $0, I can hit confirm this order and check out. Boom, purchase successful. Head over to my library. So if we click this button here, will be taken over to our library. And now these animations have all been added. And I had already uh, purchased these before. Now, if we wanna add one of these assets into our scene, all we'll do is let's double click in here and we will go to download. Now, we, when we click this button, Maya is downloading the FBX into your default uh, download folder usually. So if you wanna find out where that is, it's really easy. You can just go up here, go to settings, and you can, I can tell here it's taking it to my downloads folder. If I go to my downloads folder, there we go. Super Alloy Interactive, Horizontal Attack, uh, RE, Reverse, and uh, we have it in case we wanna use it in another program or uh, in, some software that is not Maya. But if we wanna just directly import this into Maya, what's really cool is we can now just click import. And as easy as that, we now have motion capture dropped into our scene. And because this uh, motion capture is HIK ready, it also uh, automatically generated a character definition here. So now it should be really easy to retarget this animation 
onto an actual character. I have here a character that is uh, has already been rigged and set up, and so when I drop into the scene, um, I actually get my profile right here. And so if I want to retarget the animation that we just downloaded to this character, I just set this source, this character to my alien, and then the source of the animation to character, which is the download that we just did for our attack. And now if we hit play, we have it. It's all working and it's ready to go. So let's say we wanted to actually choose another animation. Let's open up Motion Library again. X out of this. And let's grab this Attack Saber Jump. Download it. Import it into the scene. It was just imported right here. I usually go in and I rename these, which helps a little bit. Motion library will just go to sleep sometimes when you're not uh, in the window, which is good, just, just helping things run fast. So now that we downloaded our new animation, we want it retargeted, we just go to character one. And now we have our jumping. And we can jump back and forth between these two animations. If you need some help learning how to characterize a rig that maybe isn't already set up to uh, create this character profile for you or this definition for you, uh, we have tutorials on how to characterize a rig in Maya. And uh, if you follow the links in the description below, um, you can go and, and learn how to do that. But it's really easy and the tools in Maya make it really simple. So we are really excited about this partnership with Autodesk. Um, Maya is, it makes it incredibly easy to retarget animations and it works just so smoothly with Motion Library uh, that we are really just excited for everyone to get out there and start using the tools and making some cool stuff. We hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments below or always feel free to reach out directly to support at rococo.com. Our awesome support team will help you out and we can get you through whatever difficulties you're having. Other than that, you guys should go out there and download Maya 2020.1, get that update, and check out the Motion Library. Uh, we hope you guys love it as much as we do. Okay, thanks so much. Bye-bye.